good morning friends today we will do the poem the solitary reaper by william wordsworth now we all know when many poets still wrote about ancient heroes in grandiloquent style wordsworth focused on nature children the poor common people and used ordinary words to express his feelings he defined poetry as the spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions the spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions arising from emotion recollected in tranquility now this poem the solitary reaper again depicts the simple rustic life the backdrop over here is that of a village that of a mountains let us start the poem now the poet starts the poem with very fascinating lines when he quotes that behold her single in the field yon solitary highland lass reaping and singing by herself a stop here or gently pass now the poet says that behold her this means once the poet he was traveling he was passing through rustic areas when he caught sight of a young maiden a young girl from scotland so the poet says behold her behold means to see or to look so the poet says to look at her single in the field because at that time she was all alone she was all alone and she was busy with her work so the poet says behold her single in the field she is all alone she is all by herself yon yon means there that means the girl over there she is all alone solitary solitary means single highland lass highland means scotland and lass we all know is a girl so again going through the lines we come to know that the poet he was traveling he was going to do his work when all of a sudden he catches sight of a girl of a young girl she was doing her work so he says that behold her singer in the field yon solitary highland lass over there there is a girl she is all alone by herself she is doing her work and she is single reaping and singing reaping she is cutting cutting the crops and at the same time she is also singing this shows her involvement in her work so this shows her involvement in the work and the poet quotes very good word by adding by herself by herself again means the involvement involvement in a work so she is quite involved she is lost in her work and she is not aware that there is a presence of some other human individual over there she thinks she is all by herself and when she is all by herself she is most natural so she says stop here or gently pass now what he wants is he never wants anyone to distract her he doesn't want that the girl should be aware 
of any human presence if the girl will be aware of the human presence then she will become conscious and once she will become conscious she won't be natural we all know we are most natural when we are alone when we are single but if we are aware of some human presence in that case we won't be natural so the poet says let us stop here or gently pass alone she cuts and binds the grain and sings and sings a melancholy strain oh listen for the wail profound is overflowing with the sound now again the poet lays stress on the fact that she is all alone and when she is alone she is cutting and she is binding the grain this shows again her involvement in her work we can quote this line over here so this shows her involvement in her work alone she cuts and binds the grain and sings a melancholy strain a strain is a song and melancholy is a sorrowful or sad now she is singing a song now she is singing a song but the song is quite sad what is the reason why she is singing a melancholy strain a melancholy song a sad song this thing is not clear to the poet so the poet further adds oh listen vale means oh listen for the vale profound vale means valley and profound means deep so the poet says oh listen for the deep valley is overflowing with the sound with the sound with the melancholy strain of the highland lass which she is singing that means the entire valley is echoing with her sorrowful note with her sorrowful song the poet is totally encaptivated he is enthralled even even though it is a melancholy strain but still there was some magic in the voice of the girl and the poet he was enchanted enthralled and captivated by her sweet melody though the irony is the song was a sad one but even that sad song thrilled the poet moving further the poet says no night angle did ever chant more welcome notes to weary bands of travelers in some shady haunt among arabian sands now the poet draws comparison with the bird nightingale we all know nightingale she sings very beautifully but over here the poet says that no nightingale did ever chant chant means sing chant means sing so the poet says that no nightingale has ever sung more welcome notes notes again are the songs welcome means to welcome because the trees on which these nightingale perches or the trees on which they have made their homes when these tired travelers they walk 
in the hot desert and when they get terribly tired they take rest under these shady trees now these shady trees are owned by the nightingales and since the tree belongs to the nightingales they become the host for these travelers the travelers becomes their become their guest now just to welcome those guest the guest over here are those tired travelers so just to welcome those travelers they sing songs to give them comfort to welcome them so the poet says that no nightingale did ever chant more welcome notes to weary bands again weary bands means tired travelers weary is tired and bands means travelers so the poet says that no nightingale that means not a single nightingale ever has sung such beautiful song to welcome the tired travelers it has been given over here band means travelers that means group of travelers in some shady haunt shady we all know shady which provides shadow haunt is a place of rest over here it has it, it has been referred to the tree so the poet says that when these tra uh, tired travelers or when these group of travelers they become tired they take rest under these shady trees and these nightingales they welcome those tired travelers but even those nightingales they have never sung such beautifully as the song which right now he is listening being sung by the nightingale so according to the poet the voice of the nightingale is not as good as the voice of the highland lass the voice of the highland lass supersedes even the voice of the nightingale finally he says among arabian sands that means hot desert of arabia so even in the hot deserts of arabia when the travelers get terribly tired and these night angels they soothe them they comfort them they relax them by singing songs and these tired travelers they they get completely relaxed but when the poet compares the music and the sound of the night angel with that of the highland lass according to him he thinks that the voice of the night angel is nowhere as compared to the highland lass we will continue this poem in the next part thank you